Hello mathematicians. I'm going to show you how to use the place value chart to multiply and divide numbers by powers of 10, by tens, hundreds, thousands, tenths, and so on. Um, so if we have the number two, we've already discussed this, if, if we have a number in the ones place, this is worth two. And if that number, if, sorry, if we want to multiply that number by 10, we can move it across into the tens place. And we can, we have to put a zero in there, in that space. And if we want to multiply it by 10 again, it goes into the hundreds place and up comes another zero. All right, and every time you move a number one space in that direction, it gets 10 times larger. And if you move it one space in that direction, it gets 10 times smaller. Now, we can use this to multiply. And we've just multiplied the number two by 10 by 100. If we want to divide the number two by 10, we would move it one space in this direction. And we, of course, we've got to put a zero and a decimal point there so that we know that that answer is 0 0.2. And it works the same if you've got double digits, like the number 26. There's the two there. There's the six there. And if we want to multiply this number by 10, everything moves over one space. And we put a zero in here to show where the ones place is. And we end up with 260. So 26 times 10 is 260. You can use the place value chart to help you divide as well. Okay, so 26 divided by 10, divided by 10, everything moves across in that direction, one space, and you end up with 2.6. If I want to divide 2.6 by 10, we move it across another space and we get 0 0.26. Now, instead of having a place value chart with you everywhere and moving your numbers around in it, you could actually maybe leave your numbers where they are and just move the chart. See if I can collect this chart. Bring it down here so it says 26. I want to multiply it by 10. It looks like that and I put a zero there, it's 260. I wanted to divide it by 10. I move every the, the place value chart backwards and forwards so the numbers are going in that direction but the place value chart is going in that direction. Um, divide it by 10 again, multiply by 10, divide by 10, multiply by 10 and another 10, divide by 100, goes back two places and so on. And you just bounce this place value chart around to multiply and divide by 10. The digits stay the same. Now, that's all lovely, except that we don't carry around a place value chart either. You don't want to be drawing one of those up and moving it around your number. Luckily, we only need one part of the place value chart. And it is that bit. You just, you just need to move the decimal point around and everything else lines itself up. Uh, let me see if I can show you what I mean. So ignore the place value chart and just watch the decimal point. 2.6 times it by 10 is 26. Times it by 10, it's 260. Divide it by 10, it's 26. Divide by 10, it's 2.6. All you need to do is move the decimal point around to multiply and divide by powers of 10. Here are some questions for you. 3.4 times 10. So we're going to, I don't know if I can actually grab that decimal point and move it. No, I want to use a pen for now. Um, okay, we're going to try the pen, see what happens. 3.4, if I multiply it by 10, all of the numbers need to go that way in the chart. So we move the decimal point like this, and it goes after the 4, and the answer is 34. 0 0.28 divided by, sorry, multiplied by 100. So the decimal point has to go two spaces. One, two, it goes after the eight, and the answer is 28. I'm running with the mouse and it's very messy. 42.7, we're going to divide it by 10. So this time the decimal point goes this way, so that all our numbers end up in a smaller space, in a smaller place. 
and we end up with 4.27. 134.78 divided by 100, decimal point goes one, two places that way, and you get one point. Three, four, seven, eight. Messy. All right. 38.2 times a thousand. I'm going to chance it with a pen. Um, so the decimal point goes three spaces. One, that's the end of the number. Two, three. So in these spots here, once I've moved the decimal point all the way to here, these places I've got to fill up with zeros so that I know where my ones place is where my decimal point is. So the answer is going to be 38,200. It's working. 4.7 divided by 10, decimal point goes, oh sorry, divided by 100, decimal point goes two spaces, decimal points here, zero is here, and you've got a zero under there. And the answer is 0 0.047. 2.86 times 10, decimal point goes this way, answer is 28. 6 and 30.7 divided by 10 decimal point goes in one space that way and the answer is 3.07 you're ready to go and have a go at some of those um, just because the pen didn't play up there you go 